Our purse purses first. <laughs> We're on camera. <laughs> I gotta stop laughing. Okay. One, two, three. Ping us. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back. So, you can see I have my friend Sarah, Hi guys. Beauty Buzz Hub, here. And she came to see me for a couple of days and we did some major shopping. Epic. Epic shopping. So we're dividing this up into two videos. So this first one is going to be we went to the outlet malls and um, the outlet mall in Houston and we met up with some girls there and I will try and leave some pictures and I'll link the girls' channels below of everyone that was included that we met up with and if they have channels. And then oh, and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a vlog too, and they're in that, so yes. stay on the lookout for that too. The vlog Sarah did all the vlogging stuff of kind of like each stuff that we did through the time she's been here. So we went to the outlets and then we went to the mall. We're gonna do the Mac portion because that's pretty enlarged on her part. Margin in charge. <laughs> yeah. So I know you guys are surprised that it's not my part that's gonna be the large Mac haul, but she did a large and in charge Mac haul. So if you guys are really interested and some Mac stuff, you're going to have to stay tuned and be on the lookout for that video. So it'll be on her channel. This one's going to be Sephora and some random drugstore because I took her to H-E-B. And, and, CC, and CCO. Yeah, the CCO is going to be in this yeah. one too. I went to H-E-B for the first time. Yeah, and that was, of course, was awesome. always fun because awesome. she'll show you what she found and we Instagrammed it. So anyways, we're going to get started because we have some stuff. This is a long haul, obviously. If you guys don't like hauls, then don't watch them because if hauls bother you, you're probably not going to like this. But here's the deal. I only come to see Laura about once every year slash this was the first time I came but I'll be coming back it's like so it's a holiday year. it's a holiday and Hall a day I bought some stuff that I've been wanting for a while and the Laura just made me feel so comfortable and I'm just like Aww. basket basket at it basket oh so it's my fault right <laughs> yeah but, yeah we know that some of you girls love it and you guys are like, can't yeah, wait to see, so. We, yeah, we know, we do it like, for those who want yeah, to see. Yeah, those who want to see, um, the majority of people like hauls, and they want to see, like, what we picked out. Yeah. But for those of you who don't like hauls, I'm, right. I'm just warning you, you probably won't like this video. But, um, sit tight, because it's going to be a long one. We got our water. Safe. Well, so, Sarah made me get my first couch ah, bag. Twin yeah, purses. <laughs> <laughs> she got one in silver, and I got one in... Is this gold? It's I would just say it's gold. like gold and pewter. So the style is, I don't know what you would call it, but it's awesome because it has these little short ones. That you it's, can do like that kind of thing. And then it has like a, a bigger, long longer one. strap. So show the, your interior. Yeah. My interior is teal. Mine is a lilac. Isn't that with cute? silver. These. And okay, you guys, I've never gotten a purse over $20 before because I usually just get my Target ones. And all my friends always have to give me the word. They always have to say, like, uh, it's time for you to get a new purse. So, can Sarah, I just say what? Well, the purse that she has now is a monster, and it eats stuff. <laughs> just to put that out there, it, le it eats everything. <laughs> I lost my keys like eighty times, and she's just always laughing at me Probably about 80, it. Eighty-one. Yeah, I really did. I, I can never <laughs> find my keys. So, so, anyways, I hemmed and hawed and hemmed and hawed, but it was like thirty percent off. Plus, it was already outlet prices, so it was a great deal. And the wallet that I was no, it's fifty percent off, and then an extra thirty. Yeah, it was fifty percent off, and then an extra thirty percent off. So it was clearance. So, so basically, they paid us to take them home. <laughs> basically, that's what my husband says, because he's always like, "Well, they're just giving it away." <laughs> so, anyways. We got that, so that was like my, one of my major purchases, and I decided that it was time. It was time to have Perfect. a purse for another like six years. So if you guys see this purse in every single like, my favorite purse for the next <laughs> six years, then um, you'll know why. I so we got a bunch of, um, okay. So I took Sarah to the CCO. Do you have a CCO near you? No. No, not near you. Albertville, Minnesota, if you guys are ever up north, is a pretty fantastic one too. Okay, but, um, wait, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, so I took her to the, to the CCO, and then there was a Lancome one, like, a couple doors down from the Houston. There's one in The CCO sells the MAC, um, like, the original cosmetic company outlet sells MAC, Bobbi Brown, uh, Smashbox, Clinique. Clinique. Estee. 
Um, Estee Lauder, yeah, because it's all like the Estee Lauder brand. And then the Lancome is basically YSL, it's like the L'Oreal branch, and L'Oreal's like companies are YSL, Lancome, and Fry, Ralph Lauren. Yeah. And some others. Weren't Just a one? few, like, yeah. Uh, they had Clarisonics there. Oh, yeah, they did. They had Clarisonics, and I should have gotten a brush head. <laughs> okay, so one of our huge scores is a YSL lipstick. And do, do, do this one is number 27. It's such a shiny package. It's so shiny. And it's the one <laughs> that I have on my lips right now. It's like a corally orange color. And this is my first YSL. Yeah. Yeah. The first one you ever got? The first, yeah. And you got the second a little uh, bit later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned. So, it's like an orangey color. This is limited edition and or discontinued now. So, I don't know if you will be able to get the color, but there's a swatch of it. It's really beautiful. These YSL lipsticks retail for $34 um, online. They were being sold for $28, but then they were... 50% off. So we got them for clo $14. I think it was 14. Yeah, 14 bucks. We got these lipsticks for. So that was our sweet deal. There were only two left. I was going to buy both of them because I was like, um, I know that that lipstick's going for like 75 bucks on yeah. eBay. So she was like, uh, can I have the other one? <laughs> I was just thinking I was only going <laughs> to buy it because she kind of. wasn't, you, I was only going to buy it because you weren't buying it. <laughs> I'm like, it, this has to be bought because <laughs> if no, nothing else, I'll give it to some color. The YSL lipsticks are one of those opaque formulas. So you just like one swipe and it covers your lips and they're really creamy. So that's the one Addiction I'm is started. It started. Yes. Yep. And such beautiful packaging. I'll yes. Okay. Wait, what happened? My red? <laughs> We are so excited about these, and yes. there was three left, so after we each got one of these Lancome so things, left. there was only one left, and it, it's, I think it's called the Illuminating Powder Face in a Decollete, Number and one. holy Wait. moly, would you just, just look at that, <laughs> and I hope that it does focus, because we, it's two it, heads. It's like a pink toned. And it's, you can see that it's like the 3D. Would ya? Look at that. Could ya? <laughs> Just look at it. Look at the sheen, like right in the middle there. Oops, that's me. That's me. Oh, in the middle, middle finger. <laughs> See how pretty that is? I mean, yeah, I, swatched it. I don't even want to use it because it's so pretty. I know, it had the flower detailing on it, it's really, really pretty. These were originally 41 and we got them for 35 and then they were. 25% off? off of that. Which is pretty good for Yeah, pretty Lancome good for products. the Lancome highlighter. So, <clears throat> we were excited about the blush highlighter, and it looked really pretty on. I actually put it on the tops of my cheeks, so I, and I liked it. Not today, though. But yesterday I did. Perfect. And I like it. So, like we said, we we met up with some people at the outlets. Um, Carol from The Blush and Burnett, and I'll link her channel down below. And then Prissy from Prissy and Pink, or Prissy Loves Pink. So, I'll link um, all of her stuff. She has different names on different things, but um, I'll link Prissy's channel down below. Anyways, we met up with them and they came into the Lancome one and we went to also the CCO, the regular one together. But Carol brought me this from Estee Lauder and it's one of their trios. And she actually texted me later and said that this can be used either wet or dry. Ooh, nice. So it's called PCI Trio number eight, Sterling Plums. I'm really excited. PCI Trio. Is that not right? I don't know. It's funny though. Okay. So, we were talking about this, but Estee Lauder has done a really... Oh, you can see outside. Estee Lauder <laughs> has done a really amazing job at switching up their packaging. Packaging is so much more sleek it's than better. the um, blue packaging that they used to have. So, so anyways, funny. this is what the trio looks like. Of course, it comes with a really nice mirror. And let me swatch them for you. And that was just so... That was so sweet of Carol to do that, and I can see how these colors would be even more stunning, like when they're wet. But that's, that's gonna a Laura be, palette. It's yeah, perfect. it is a Laura palette. It's gonna be really pretty in the fall. So there are the colors right there. So I cannot wait to wear this. And thank you so much, Carol, for being so, so sweet pretty. to think of me and pick out something that's so perfect for me. I really appreciate One it. One thing before we move on to the actual CCO with Mac and all the goodness. So this is my favorite fragrance. It's the Ralph Lauren Pink Ponies number two. It is a delicious scent. This was 
<laughs> it was thirty five dollars. It was originally seventy some seventy something. Yeah, 70. I bought this for thirty five dollars. This is like the full size three point four ounce of this, and then a little little guy, and then the body lotion, which I haven't tried, but. I just could not believe. I think like the one ounce of this is like fifty five or something. Yeah. If you like like a fruity floral. It's what are the notes awesome. in it? They have it's like tonka mousse mm -hmm. and vanilla beans. I know, and it has it's really like fruity and cotton candy ish. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what it reminds me of is Britney Spears Fantasy, which is one of my favorite perfumes. Embarrassingly enough, but <laughs> this would be a better option. So you don't when someone's like, hey, what are you wearing? You don't have to be like. A Britney Spears. Alright, so then next we went into the CCO that sells like the Mac, Bobby Brown, and that kind of thing, and we went with Percy and Carol, and we both, Sarah and I both saw these Mac pigments, and they were fourteen seventy five for a full size of Mac's pigment. So Sarah and I each bought one, and then when we went to Mac, we found these little um, jars, and they actually like twist together, and there's a stack of four of them. Well, you have to take the cap off. Oh, but they tw they, tw <laughs> <laughs> they twist together and um, there's just little jars like without the sifter, but it's a great way because you'll never get through a whole pigment. So yeah. definitely we recommend like going in with your girlfriends or boyfriends and just, you know, like sharing pigments because there's just no there's, need to have a whole thing. Yeah. I'm wearing the one that she has. What's the, what's but, your color called? I think mine is um, Aurora, Aurora. Yeah, Aurora. Yeah, I have an eyeshadow that Hannah from Beauty Chat sent me too. That's okay, Aurora. it's pretty. I have that on my lids today. Okay, the one that I have is called Circa Plum. It's a really beautiful plummy color. Do you have a swatch of that? Handy? <laughs> right there. And I love this. I have a Benefit pigment that I was like one of my all-time favorites that they did away with. And that kind of reminds me of it. So. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear that one. That's the one that I have on my lid is the Aurora. And uh, yeah, MAC pigments are regularly, are they 20 something? I think they're tw 20 at least. Are at least $20. I think they're somewhere around 20 So it's a good deal. And plus, basically we got two pigments for the price of our one when and that, you go in at Havsies. And that it's full like, jar, like, yeah. like it didn't even hardly put a dent in there. So Yeah. There's just no possible way someone could go through a pigment. I think, think I said in one of my videos, like, if you go through an entire MAC pigment, you've been wearing the snot out of that, and you deserve yes. a round of applause <laughs> in my book. Like, if someone has ever gone through a MAC pigment, please raise your hand right now and leave please. a comment below. Tell. Because that would be amazing, and I would bow down to you if you went through an entire jar of MAC pigment. Because that's dedication right there. So since the CCO is near me and I've been to it several times before, I didn't really have like a whole lot that was new there. It was really for Sarah who doesn't have one close to her. And so she is going to show you what she picked up from the CCO there. And is it all MAC? It's all MAC and yeah. of course, Laura, I'm like, Laura, is this good? She'd be like, no. Is it good? <laughs> yes. So basically, they're all Laura recommendations. Yeah, because I'm like, uh, no, that sucks. <laughs> I did pick up two items for a friend back home because she loves makeup and I love her and it just works out. And this is a blush that actually Laura sent me, so I have it. I'm not going to swatch it because it's for Terme. And it's full of joy and it's seriously like the I love most it. beautiful, like, it's like a lavender, lavender yeah, with a with, sheen. Is it a frost? Anyway. And then, we, and then I also got Tara this... Neo ne ne blue, Neo ne Nebula. What was that from? What collection? That was from the Heavenly Creatures collection. All the mineralized stuff. Um, not this last summer, but the summer before. And this one's World Together is like a peachy, or excuse me, like a purpley pink. It's so pretty. Really pretty. Um, the blush was fourteen seventy five, and then the mineralized eyeshadow was fourteen seventy five. So pretty. These are what originally twenty one, and then mm -hmm. these are like probably twenty since it's mineralized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good deals on that. And oh my gosh, this is probably like the one I'm most excited about. It's Lights Lights Capade, mm -hmm. the mineralized skin finish. And it's just, if you don't know what an MSF is, it's a highlight. Because I have some girls back home that don't know, so. Um, <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah, but then there's mineralized MSF naturals, which are like powder setting powders that do have a reflective quality. But they're nothing like the... MSFs that are really used to highlight um, because those are way more pigmented with a sheen. See that kind of sheen? I actually do have this on the general highlight spots here. And I was excited to get this Cassie from Shades of Cassie recently talked about it. She yeah. said it was like a lot 
less chunky and glitter than soft and gentle but i love soft and gentle and if it's even better then and i it is. give it's it really to me smooth, right yeah it's super smooth doesn't so. it have like a little pink tinge to it Maybe i feel like it i has, feel like it has like a, almost like a do look at that what well, yeah i think the just look at it would you <laughs> <laughs> it has like a pink like when she switches her hand you can't even see, but well, it has, like, the like when it's swatching, it almost comes up with, like, an iridescence yeah, of pink to it. It does. It's pretty. It's I really love that good one. on, especially pale, really pale complected. I would or, recommend getting this if you see it at a CCO. Cause it's, yeah. They re promote it sometimes, don't they? Yeah, they do. It's been re promoted a couple of times. And this, I think, was around 20, and they're originally 30. So, for yeah. full price, so it's mm -hmm. a good deal. All right, then I got this Pro Longwear lipstick, and this was limited to edition and it's not permanent. I don't think they repromoted it either. I don't know. It's um it. Love Long Distance and I actually was when I was in the store I looked up to, on Tim Talia's blog to see if it was limited edition and it is and she did describe it as being similar to Revlon lip butter and uh, cupcake. So if you do like the color it's just like a really light pinky with a little bit of lavender to it so mm -hmm. That is Love Long Distance, so. And I did get a mineralized eyeshadow. This is the, it's called Daylight and what collection? I, I think it's from the Après Chic collection, but I don't know. Um, I know that there's been some mineralized. I know it's not from the same Heavenly Creatures one, because those have like a circular yeah. swirl. Uh, but Mac has come out with... Can you not? <laughs> <laughs> we had a personalized haul for him yeah, last night, so we seen did. it all. Honey, do what you was your favorite one? color? Honey, do you have anything to say? Pink. <laughs> Pink was his favorite color. Two more things from the CCO that I got. I got this quad. I've never purchased it. like a quad that was out in limited edition. Why do I? Why do I tell him why? Why do you um, not purchase a quad? Because I'm very OCD <laughs> and it has to be like very in a line. aesthetically pleasing. It has to have more. It has to have friends because it doesn't <laughs> want to be alone. So if you want to know more about my very organizing and Are friends you do a upon video? friends, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, Beauty she'll do Buzz a Hub. She'll do a collection because I'm doing a collection video, it's, and it's it coming. is her storage system is like amazing and you would definitely want to take notes and yes it's fun yeah. to play in there okay so this is the one i got it's lady gray and i'm actually wearing it today and i re i don't reach or usually buy like these silver tone like what would you what would you call them like grayish i would call them like these yeah like m like muted muted colors like i don't know they're like muted soft topies and because I usually, yeah, I usually go for that, very... Is that really your swatching? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Did you hear my stomach? I did. Is that really your <laughs> Laura, who you swatch it? Okay, so apparently my swatching skills are not up to par, which that they're not. Was, are you serious? But these, she's like, are those your swatches? <laughs> yes, these are my swatches Look of it, the Look at you keep the fingers together and rub them <laughs> like this. You're like this. <laughs> Craziest thing I've ever seen. In you my can life. still get an idea, no, but here's the eye can't. look. Are you showing it? <laughs> I'm showing the it. Colors right here. That's a better <laughs> idea of them. And the names are all races: Tender, Smoke, Lady Gray, and Hazy Day. I have this quad. I don't know where it's at at the moment. I think I lent it to somebody. But when she put pretty. it on her eyes, I was like, oh, I gotta find it again. It is really pretty. That's the eye look. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Whose swatches do you like better? Can we start Mine? a poll? Should we go below? <laughs> you should have seen the way she did it though. It was like <laughs> reckless. <laughs> and then like... <laughs> I'm like, really? Is that happening right now? It happens. I need to go to swatch school. Yes. We all know. We all know. Alright, and last I got this blush. It's pink tea. And do you know what collection this was from at all? I think Pink Tea came out with the um, Trace Trace Cheek collection, I believe. And this is—I think it was actually re-promoted in that collection. I believe it was out before that. This is a satin, a satin finish. It's right here. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I don't. I don't quite know. Laura would definitely know more than I would, but oh, it's really pretty. I think these were for like around fourteen or fifteen dollars. So at the CCO. Fourteen seventy-five. So. Yeah. They were fourteen seventy five. Okay, so um, these two purchases are from Clarence. My first thing's from Clarence. 
Oh shoot. She's been wearing these all weekend. And yes, I have jealous. been wearing them all weekend. And they are from my friend, uh, especially on Keek, her name is Colorado Pinkie Pie. Her mm. name is Jennifer Dowdy, and she has like wonderful recommendations. Anyways, you guys should definitely follow her on Keek if you don't already. I keep trying to convince her to create a channel, but she does Friday favorites and stuff. And she was talking about some of these clearance things. I can't remember if she talked about this Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. It's just a really beautiful peachy gloss. These clearance things, oh, they Where'd smell so good. Smell. I got these at Macy's. Ooh, get it right in your nose. Oh, I can't <laughs> put it on because I have something else. It's a really nice peachy color. Uh, like peachy pink. Candy a yeah, bit. it smells like cotton candy. It just is delicious. And then this is the Clarins um, Gloss Protégé. Protégé? Protégé? This is the Gloss Protégé in 02 Nude, and it's just a really pretty... It's a really pretty nude color. It has a flat paddle brush, and it goes on really smooth, smells really good. This one doesn't smell like cotton candy as much. It almost smells like just like strawberry kiwis. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice consistency. Both of these, I really like them. So thank you, Jennifer, for the recommendations. Okay, so we went to Sephora, and as you guys know, Sarah works at Sephora, so it was a really fun time because she was kind of giving me some information. I got color matched because they have that new color matching system color there. Color IQ. Yeah, color IQ, and so I got color matched. I don't remember what it was, but all the information can be sent to your email, so you don't have to, like, memorize it while you're there. So I have an email of it, and it just picked out a bunch of different foundations. I did not purchase a foundation. Um, I, I'm going to go first because I yeah. think I got only a few things. So we both actually got this Chelsea's girl, Chelsea girl, Chelsea girls. This is the um, NARS lip lacquer, and I love this these potted glosses. I have one other one in Charity Pot and or Sweet Charity. This one is a nude gloss. Uh, I think Jaclyn Hill. I'm pretty certain about it. It's pretty tacky of a formula. But it stays on your lips for a really long time. But it's just a really nice nude, everyday wearable gloss. And I love them. But if you guys don't like sticky formula, yeah, they look really pretty. I think it's Kirsten. Lips. Kirsten from It's Kirsten likes these too a lot. Okay. Just Kirsten from It's Kirsten what likes do these you? too. Do you, Kirsten? Do you like these? <laughs> I'm, per I'm pretty sure it was you. I think she does. I'm sure. She likes everything. She yeah. likes makeup. So sure. she probably likes these. Kirsten, you like these. But anyways, <laughs> I know Jacqueline Hill likes it. But you see, oh, isn't that pretty? Don't you like it? Is that the first Would time you Would you just it look at it though? Just look at it. Is that the first time you tried it on? Yeah, I actually like it. feels really thick, mm -hmm. but I it's not It's not actually not even as thick as like sticky. a lip gloss. It is thick though. It's, it's thick and emollient. But I can tell say. it's going to stay on yeah, a long time. Yeah, it stayed on. Last night I put it on and like, it stayed on. If I was to compare these two, just the Kors lip butters, mm -hmm. those will be gone in like before you even put it on. <laughs> yeah. And this... I really like that color too. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm not a nude person, but it's it looks a really so nice pretty. nude, and I like those. So um, I think that they're phasing them out. So if you do like them, they only had four colors. And I know in the line they used to have several more colors, so now they yeah. only have four. And then I got with a hundred point perk a little <laughs> Urban Decay lipstick in Catwalk. It's so pretty. It's like it the perfect pretty. raspberry. Yeah, it's like a very raspberry. You know what would be similar to this is but the lip butter in Raspberry Pi. And it From comes like this with all the colors. So I yeah. thought that was a really nice 100 point perk. You're doing really good on those. Yeah, it was. Okay, since Sarah works at Sephora, she has had some favorites. And I don't know if you if you guys are a long time watcher of hers or if you're just seeing it now, you can head over because she just talked about this in one of her Friday favorite. No, in her August favorites. Yeah. It is the new Marc Jacobs Highliner in Blacker. And she was wearing this in her waterline all week and long, and I, I, we were just amazed at how it stays in the waterline. It's insane. It is. It's like a gel formula in a what is retractable it? in a retractable pen pencil. pencil. So here is the pencil, and it just obviously twists up at the bottom here, and. Seriously, this is a very, very deep black liner, and it works perfectly for tight lining and for doing your waterline, and it really does stay so. forever. I have it in my tight line today, but um, I'm and I'm going to do the wear test because I'm. If you guys are looking for a liner that stays in your waterline, I've heard of two really good ones recently. Is the NARS Larger Than Life mm -hmm. liners and then these Marc Jacob ones. Highly, highly recommend. Check yes. it out. Definitely Intense worth the splurge. color, extreme wear. That's what it says. Yeah. Worth this large. They do set really fast. Yeah, fast. so. Like 15 seconds, so. 
Yeah, so you, you have to be willing to, if you're going to want to smudge it out, you're going to have to like put it on and immediately smudge it. Go buy it now. <laughs> and then since we were there, she got this Jacob's blush because we'll just look at it and you can see yeah. why it's totally my color. It's a Laura blush. I had to. Look at this packaging, first of all. It's so beautiful and very chic, I would say. So you press the button and it flips up and then there's like a, you know, a mirror and then there's just this little thing that covers the blush. <laughs> Boom, look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's like, I haven't even swatched it yet because I just had to show you guys. I know, I think I need that one now too. Oh, Dang it's it. so pretty. My, ooh, I've heard Melissa from Melon PHS talk about this blush and Natalie from Flower Bomb 31. She was like, immediately after she got it, both of those two girls were like, this is something you need. It's like a lavendery pink, just, what is that? I don't know. It almost looks like a tint of a blue periwinkle. Yes. Like, in a good way. In a good way. A very beautiful, wearable blush. So, I'm going to love this forever. Mwah. And it comes, like, in this little case with a with a brush. Mark Jacobs, it doesn't. With a little blush brush. Is this, like, a brush? Uh, no, they never are. Okay, never are, <laughs> right? but you know, I have plenty of brushes. So in a little snap case, just for a little... So sleek. Yeah, really nice. So anyways, that is all I got from Sephora, so I'm going to have Sarah show what she Okay, got. so I went crazy because Laura was there and I wanted to. I that This is the first time I ever bought anything from NARS, so I'm very excited. So I did get that one, and I got an eyeshadow duo. Oh, I have this one. And, yeah, it was probably the most, like, unique. I just wanted to get something fun to remember the trip. Do you know that flower, um, Natalie from Flower Bomb 31? You guys should probably watch her, too, uh, because yes. she has, like, basically the most awesome recommendations. But, um... How do you say this one again? Browse? I think this is one of her favorites. So pretty. She I... likes Brune, too, maybe. Maybe? No. Bro brooms? And then this one. She likes brooms? Mm-hmm. Do you approve? I think that's what it's called. Do you approve of these watches? <laughs> yeah, those, those are good. They're so pretty. They're just really unique, and I'm really excited to have those. And then I have to say that this next purchase, um, well, Laura has been wanting it, and I actually got it, but Emily from Lizette's Beauty. Yeah, it's your beauty? fault. Beauty? Beauty. No, beauty. I just, I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Emily that. from Lisette's Beauty, right? It's your fault, Emily. <laughs> it's your fault. It's the translucent crystal, like the light reflecting powder in the, in the pressed form. And it's just oh, like a, really, really a nice. white translucent powder. If you have problems with like translucent powders turning you white, you're applying way too much, you're packing it on, you just need to roll it on. Uh, but it, yeah, it's just going to make any skin type, probably not oily skin, I wouldn't say too. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to give you a nice overall finishing to look to your face. And um, they applied it to me on at the store and it was just like, you know, the big fluffy brush and then they kind yeah. of rolled it on yeah. um, instead the of they said don't you know buff it into your face but just roll it onto your face so probably similar to the hourglass ambient powders yeah. um, but I've heard a lot of people like the NARS reflect yeah so you can do one. translucent just no just yeah work your application with a light hand mm -hmm. okay so uh, like I said that earlier the addiction has begun mm -hmm. and here it is so I got my first actual like full price permanent YSL lipstick in number one. How would you explain this one? I would call it like a perfect mix between a nude and a pink. Um, very weird, like a, a very nice nudie pink. I think it's called nude beige and it's not nude beige at all. It's a very beigey pink, but it is a nude. <laughs> and I don't do nudes a lot, but I've kind of been looking for it. A good nude that works on my complexion because I want to do some dark smoky eyes for fall. I bet you that with NARS, oh, the NARS gloss over it would be beautiful. Oh yeah. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just would you? Look just, at it. I have really that pretty. one. It's one of my favorites, um, and I, I it was the first one I ever purchased on my thirtieth birthday. So, In the packaging, if you don't know, you do know because you're watching this. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful packaging. So, the last up, if you're still with us, is Sarah went to her first trip to HEB. Yeah, I'm so excited. And they had some new collections out and then just some stuff that she had been wanting to try. 
So the most exciting part is we scored these lip butters and well we, I did. as in she. She let me I have it. Buy them. <laughs> but they're the limited edition ones from the Gucci Westman collection. Mm -hmm. This one's purple. They both go on really, really sheer, but they're really pretty. The like kind of the iridescence and the duochrome that they have. She posted See pictures that? on her Instagram account, Beauty Buzz Hub. Beauty Buzz Hub. It's and really pretty. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. There's only one of each color in the display, which I think is absolutely Should ridiculous. Should insert a picture here to show you how ridiculous. Because I was taking pictures and like this is yeah. so stupid. It's like who? Oh, that was. I mean, who only has one of something? That's just rude. <laughs> that purple was provocative, and this is invite only. The the green one. And they're sheer, so I he I heard someone say they were meant to be the per make the perfect yeah. nude lip. So they're meant to be a topper to make the perfect nude. Same lip. Gucci Westman collection. Um, I don't know if these were limited edition, but they were on that display. I got two of these, and Laura, you got the pink one too. I got the pink too. one. I'm not. I like the pink one, but it doesn't even have a scent to it for some reason that bothers not, me. Not at all. And. I don't know. I just, I'm not, there was a dollar off coupon for each at HEB, and so I think they're five dollars each, so then when you had the dollar off, it was like four something. Obviously. They're really affordable there. The, the pink one is the, it's called Bejeweled, and the other one is called Embellished, and I'd have to check back in, but this one might be similar to Max Rebel in the lip glass. I think um, Rebel's more pigmented than that. Oh, for sure, for mm -hmm. sure, but you can't even... Oh, cause you can't it's right even there. see the other one. That's the pink one, and then this is the darker one. It has just like purple-ish blue, tiny little reflex, but nothing crazy. So for the price, they were good. In um, my opinion, though, I'm just going to say, I don't think that the pink one, that's the one I have, is worth it. I just don't. I got it to see if it was a good dupe for like Nars's what is Turkish? it? Turkish Delight. And it's not. I just don't think it. No. I just don't like it. I don't. I mean, save your money is what I'm trying to say. Save your money. Okay. Not lower approved. And then I just got a nail polish um, because I wanted to paint my nails, but then I painted it on a different color. <laughs> um, this is seductive, and it's just this formula, and it's just a beautiful fall, like a deep wine color. Mm -hmm. And then I got some essence goodies. Uh, I did get this eyeshadow that Laura loves. It's the it's called Party All Night. Really pretty and really affordable. I think those are like two something each. No, this was $1.99. Oh. I think the thing said $2.49, but it was $1.99 when it rang up. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's just like a beautiful, metallic-y, bronzy taupe. Pewter. pewter. Yeah. It's, I mean, pick it up. It's awesome. Some of the other ones are really pretty, too. Mm -hmm. And then I got, Laura said this was good, the Essence Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss, and then the X, X something, like 5XL mm -hmm. Essence Shine in uh, Nude Kiss. Actually, I've never tried that one. New, okay. I've Have only tried, tried the formula. I think Kristen, do you know, I think she said she liked that one. <laughs> That's the stay all day one. This peachy pink is the stay all day formula, and then this one is the, the I think it's a quadruple X shine, yeah. and it's, it's like a nude kiss. Bobby. Yeah, it's really pretty though. Yeah, it is pretty. For sure. What do so, they smell like? Um, they kind of, they take me back to like really affordable makeup when we were young. Let me smell it. Kind of like. Oh, I really got my nose in Do you know? There. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a. It's a very faint scent. I don't think it would bother anyone. This one doesn't really smell. But I would say strawberry if I had to pick a specific fruit yeah. to compare to. <laughs> it's real, it smell, they smell decent. Yeah. All right, everyone. So that is it. We're going to move on to our MAC haul now, which will be up on Sarah's channel. So don't forget to subscribe. If the video is up, I will link that in the information box below. So these are probably both going to go up on the same day. So I will try and I will link her video down below. And... So you guys can continue watching if you'd like. I know this was an epic haul. Thank you for staying tuned. Um, it just it makes it longer when you have two people showing the stuff in one video. So obviously you understand you had to sit tight for it. I'm so glad that Sarah had the opportunity to come and see me. It has been such a blast. And I'm sad we have to take her to the airport here coming up soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Even when we brought it home, she... <laughs> Even... Even when we brought it home, my husband was like, yeah, Kelly Kapowski, she will forever always be hot.